What hobby can someone have that raises an immediate red flag? A lot of non-hobbies in here. I work at a casino. Gambling is my answer. People who like to find tiny and cramped caves to climb in and squeeze through. I am scared of you. Filling the entirety of our ass credit with sexual questions and male vs female questions. Collecting serial killer memorabilia Dahmer's glasses, Gacy's paintings, etc. A lot of people don't seem to know what a hobby is. Collecting the condoms of your sexual partners and making a scrapbook based around the subject. Yes I knew a girl who did this and she was a crackpot. No I was not in the scrapbook, but many friends were. Bullfighting tends to raise a lot of red flags. Putting mice organs inside transparent Lego men. Dog show exhibitor. I'm half joking as it's a hobby I want to get into myself, but it's a world with some serious politics and immature, catty behavior. Farming karma on Reddit. Posting the same exact post that just hit our popular three days ago hoping for karma. The answers haven't changed. Catching insects that enter his room and trapping them in a box watching them die slowly day by day. Collecting shrunken heads. Child beauty pageant judge. Puppy and kitten backyard start off with good intentions then sweet mother of Jesus, by the end of it they make Joseph Mengele look like a humanitarian. It's because they get greedy and start offering specific characteristics which as you know takes trial and error. Kind of not what you want to do with life. Collecting toenail clippings. Knew a guy who collected Nazi and German World War II antiques. I can understand if you collect World War II antiques, German, US, UK, USSR, etc. He only collected German and Nazi stuff because it was made to a higher quality degree. Turned out to be a sexual harasser. Cooking meth. Semaphore. Collecting red flags. My single creepy landlord loved to travel by himself. His destinations were always somewhere known for trafficking young girls. A few days ago my partner told one of his friends that he looked like a Genshin Impact enjoyer and his friend said that was the rudest thing anyone had ever said to him. Knowing loads of super specific details about serial killers and stuff like having a creepy obsession with it. It's not specifically weird but it always creeps me out whenever people start talking about it. Collecting shoes but not wearing them. Didn't we just do this question? I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit for this but... Horse people. I have met tons of horse people and individuals that partake in that sort of lifestyle hobby are truly some of the most insufferable humans I've ever come across. Dissecting roadkill. Collecting Nazi paraphernalia. Using a Reddit account with the name of a notorious serial killer as part of his Reddit username. That's concerning, raised eyebrow, raised eyebrow, raised eyebrow. I've been told that it's a red flag that I created a points system for new people I meet. Some of them are quite rude when they realize it, however they don't get the point. Being super into World War II but only the Nazi side. Human taxidermy. League of Legends. Horses. Horse girls I've known have been rather intense. As a Linux enthusiast being a Linux enthusiast. Copying other posts from a couple days ago to farm karma like this one. Brutally killing animals not talking about hunting fishing, more like small animals like squirrels, etc. Be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. I recognize that there are normal people who enjoy it, but anyone I've ever met who is really into MMA UFC tends to be a hothead jerk. Beer bottle collection or crown royal bag collection. Sensi, or Lou Laro, or any of that MLM shit. My mom and sister were really into Sensi a few years back. My sister later got into QAnon shit and spread it to my whole family. If you're gullible enough to be dragged into a Ponzi scheme, you're gullible enough to be dragged into something more sinister. A general obsession with anything Nazi, Confederate, Imperial Japan, or Russia military Putin related. I mean like collecting their flags, idolization, talking about it all the time, etc. Children beauty pageants. USSR flag raiser, they raise a red flag. Reposting popular questions asked a couple of days earlier. No hobby at all. Writing fan fictions about anime characters. Collecting souvenirs from their past dates. Be careful around people good at poker. Sociopathic traits are very valuable in the game and it attracts a lot. If someone is very good at quickly reading people, figuring out odds, 
bluffing and supplanting reactions to hide intent then be very careful. Didn't this question just come up a couple days ago? I guess this happens often in ass credit. Communism. Are you serious? This was posted yesterday. Cycling. Those people always be in the middle of the road going under the speed limit, but if we pass them we're the asshole. Killing people. Doing drugs as a hobby, literally some people have so little going on in their lives that I do drugs is the keynote to their personality. Casual cannibalism, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post. A lot of people don't seem to know what a hobby is. Hoarding data. I had an ex who was obsessed with cybersecurity and he thought if he saved everything he ever came across on encrypted external HDDs, he was fine. This means he had nudes and porn of every girl he was ever with that he would sometimes rewatch. A lot of it was filmed or photographed without their consent. And